Well, you know what to talk about? I need to talk about the art of self-defense. <laughs> yes, that needs to be talked about. Um, this movie came out in 2019. That is a great movie. Uh, and this movie has me thinking about Room 237. Mm-hmm. Y'all caught that. And... It is not a comedy, especially as I watch it here in 2021. Um, this is more like a fantasy film <laughs> of how uh, this poor man wish it goes down. Uh, <laughs> this is like the theory of how it's supposed to go. Um, but in 2021, uh, this, this, this is not how it goes down. In the movie, our main character, he's assaulted. He's beat up, right? And um, because of this attack, he feels he, it's like an awakening for him to do something. So because he now has this epiphany to do something, his first instinct is to go get a gun. Now, um, there is, in this particular movie, a waiting period for the gun. The three-day waiting period kicks in, and this baby decides that he needs to live a better life by taking karate classes. Okay, so he goes and he takes his little karate classes and he earns his little yellow belt. Now, earning this yellow belt means that he can now fight. Good for him. Problem is, he don't have no self-esteem. He don't have it in him. It's not natural alpha male tendencies, right? So, um, member of this dojo as they call it i'm going to call them a gang um they called it a cult um you can call it a karate school whatever i want you to know that they had a lot of gang tendencies they had gang behavior it was not a cult it was a gang they were a motorcycle gang <laughs> that's what it was they killed people they, they terrorized the neighborhood um, they turned, they stole money from people. That's a gang. Organized gang. Gang with a gang hangout, gang house, um, and all of that. But gang nonetheless. This movie has a lot of reference points like The Shining. And... Maybe it's because I'm watching these two in the same time. I don't know, but that doggone window in the manager's office on both films, the fact that you are getting repeated clues, letting you know that things are not as they appear, right? I need you to understand that this movie, from the from the from the time after the attack, I believe it is he's in a coma. Like I'm convinced by the cinematography of it all, how it looks, everything that's going on. I'm thinking he's in a coma. I that's where my mind went. I looked at a couple of interviews. The director said. It's an alternate time and space. You don't really know what city he's in or the date of the movie. Bottom line, this movie takes place before the internet, right? And apparently in a city with no police. So, because nobody going to jail. Like, one man says he the police, but he even did. So, um, explain that. <laughs> anyway... Um, it, it actually watch both, all three. The Shining, Room 237, and then The Art of Self-Defense. See if you're on the same mind trip that I'm on. It's a great movie. <laughs>